Hi everyone, my name is Daniela and this is Nestle and today on my channel we are making cow inspired DIYs. If you're new to my channel we do crafts, cocktails, cooking, sometimes all in one. I don't have a cocktail for today but I will tell you one of my favorite Wisconsin beers which is where I'm from is Spotted Cow. If you've never tried it, I recommend it. Uh, even to the point where I had was on a bar league for volleyball and we named our team the Spotted Cowards, which we thought was pretty funny. So uh, if you're into some cow decor, which I will give you a shot of what my spare bedroom looks like, which is inspired by Wisconsin, so it has some cow patterns and some other cool Milwaukee art, just uh, keep watching. Okay, so the first DIY we're going to do is somewhat of a um, paper collage of an image of a cow. So I'm looking at this image here. I'm going to sketch it out on here with some, um, I can't decide which way you're doing it. I'm going to sketch it out with a pencil and then I will speed ahead a little bit and show you guys what I'm going to do for the next step to um, kind of transfer it, the shapes of the images onto some patterned paper I like. I'm going to use a mix of like calendar paper, scrapbook paper, post bro poster board, whatever I've got. And that should work just fine. So I'm going to sketch this out and I'll kind of zoom ahead so you guys don't have to watch me for too long here. Okay, so I've got the underdrawing of my cow down here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it onto some parchment paper, or of course if you have tracing paper that would work fabulously, and what I'm going to do then is um, trace those shapes onto the papers I picked, and cut them out. So let's see, I cut this a little weird, I might need a new paper, maybe I will, I will use that for cooking or something. The trick here too is like parchment paper doesn't really stick to tape, so you gotta use what you got. Okay, this seems pretty good. I added the horns. The horns weren't in the original picture here, but I thought it would be a fun touch. So I added those. I'm trying to go quickly um, so that my parchment paper doesn't, if it accidentally moves or whatever, I've got most of my image done. If you don't want to do it this way, you could print out a picture of a cow or whatever animal and just cut out the pieces instead of having to hand draw it. All right, I think that's the whole cow. I'm not going to worry about his eyes right now. If I choose to add eyes, I'll do it with paint marker afterwards. So now I'm going to cut out these pieces and put them with the colors that I want. I'm going for more of an eclectic look here. So I've got lots of different fun colors. My room decor in my spare bedroom is pretty eclectic. So I'm going for like brownsish, whites, pinks, black, those types of colors. So I'm gonna start cutting some of these with these shapes. I think, let's see. Horns might be cool in this. So, I'm going to cut them out. 
You could do this with any color palette you want and whatever papers you have. This is just how I'm doing mine according to my style and the decor I've got in my room. So here I've got my horn. I'm cutting it out. I did one similar to this in the Prints and Patterns Challenge I did with Savvy Crafts with Savannah a while ago. Um, gosh, I don't know when it was, like last spring maybe or June. So right now I'm tracing it onto my calendar paper. I'm using this calendar paper for the horns because if you look up close it's got, it's got that birchwood look. That's what I'm tracing it onto. So I'm going to cut out both of them, do that, and then I'm going to keep doing this with all of my pieces. So I will keep you posted as I go here. Okay, so I'm going to do the ears here, and I want my ears to have kind of a black outline and then this really fun, colorful inside is what I'm thinking. So what I'm going to do is cut them out, trace them onto this black paper. I'm going to have to flip them so they're upside down, and that way they're the right way with this. So if this is upside down, this also needs to be reversed. And then I'm going to cut out the same shape but slightly smaller out of the fun pink colors. I would make sure you're cutting on the line or slightly outside the line just because that way your pencil markings aren't showing through as much. I do have a lot of cut of erase marks here. I will worry about those later. But right now I'm just worrying about my little ear pieces. I like the idea of this like super colorful cow. you guys were to make this project or another project with animals, what would you make and what kind of color scheme? I will, I'll link a video of the one that I made for the Prints and Patterns Challenge. I made up Cheetah and it turned out so cool. I actually have it hanging up in the uh, spare bedroom or what we call the Milwaukee room. We also call it the activity room because it's where we do all our activities. Like sometimes we have movies in there, I craft in there. All sorts of good stuff. So I flipped it over. So that's the right way. And I'm cutting that out to need this one too. Whoa, one of my ears is way bigger than the other one, but oh well. It doesn't look like it in the picture, so maybe it's more of an optical illusion type of thing. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna cut those out of these and then I'll cut the same shape out but smaller out of the other one. And I've traced them on here. I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to go slightly inside my lines so that it's a little smaller and I can always trim it up more afterwards. So I know you can't see it from there but I'm cutting just barely inside Oops, my original line. So that way, for example, this fits into this, which I think is really cute. Okay, so that one's good. Yay. This could be a little more curved down here. Doesn't have to be totally perfect. Just do your best. This one on. This is from an old calendar from last year. I think it's a 20, 
21 calendar, if I'm correct. And this one will fit in here. Looks like it could use a little more curve up here. Cool. So, oh, you can't see it back there. So my, my cute little ear looks like. And that it'll put it on there. I think will be fun. So I'm going to continue cutting out my pieces and I will glue them down in just a minute here. I am going to glue stick these together right away just so that they're already together. Or maybe I'll wait just in case I don't like it. I'm going to wait just in case I don't like it. But I am going to keep cutting out my pieces. And I will start gluing them soon. I'm not going to have them all cut out right away because that might get a little confusing with positioning. So I'm just going to keep cutting and uh, I'll let you guys hang out and watch. This is, by the way, this is the perfect project for little scraps like this. This is a scrap I had left over from uh, probably some cards I made. I like to make cards for people. Um, and it's great for that, for using all those misshapen little pieces that could use, could be used in a picture collage like this. So I've got a few of my pieces cut here and I'm going to start placing them just so you can kind of see it all coming together. I am not currently going to worry about, oh, this got some numbers behind it. I'll just one fix that. If I do two layers of it, then will it be better or worse? Okay, I'm going to have to problem solve that for the horns. I will start with the other pieces in that case. I've got my hot glue gun. You could use Elmer's glue for this, but this just makes it... Um, a little bit quicker and it doesn't uh, make the paper all wrinkly, which is what I like about it. So I'm placing it on there and just pressing it into place. And again, I may or may not add the eyes later, and just kind of seeing how it all turns out and then deciding. We'll do it again on this side. Be gentle with this. Um, you don't want to bring your fingers. If the paper is really thin, it can get really hot. No, okay, so it looks okay in a black background. So I might have to glue these to a black background before on here because the back is a calendar and you can see it. So I might have to glue these first onto that black paper that I already used. And I will have to then glue it there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just stick glue stick them onto here, so it's not lumpy. Cut it out and then place them as horns.
grabbed my white and black Pasca paint pens now. I'm going to do a little bit of touching up on this. And I think I lost my cow image. Let's see, I did. Okay. So I feel like the horns are getting a little lost, so I'm going to use my black one to kind of outline those. Which I guess I could have done ahead of time when I used that black underneath but I didn't expect it to kind of blend in with the white background. That might seem obvious, but whatever. I'm just outlining that a little bit. Help those babies stand out. And I am going to also do some eyes I've decided. I think that'll look cool. Now the question is, which parts am I going to leave white or black? Okay, I found my picture again. I'm going to go with my, my white. Looking at this here. Alright, that feels a little better, right? These weird cow eyes. Guys, cow eyes are weird. This is potentially the best it's gonna get. Okay. And the other fun part is I do need to get rid of all these little pencil lines. So I'm gonna go in with my paint pen and cover those up as well. guys think? I love all the fun colors and patterns on this one, so I'm really excited to hang this one up. So before we move on to the next one, I'll try to find a picture of my Milwaukee room and enter it here for you guys before we move on. Okay, this next DIY I think is going to be super easy. We're going to make a little sign that says Moo on it. And I'm just going to make some really funky letters. It's just a spare piece of cardboard. I think foam board would be perfect for this. But the foam board I have, I really need for a different project. This is just the outline. It's gonna look better towards the end. So I've got my moo on here. I'm gonna paint the background blue. I'm gonna try to avoid my letters just so it can save me a little bit of time later, but it's no big deal if it doesn't work out. I might have to mix white in this for it to be the color I want it to be. Trying to play off the colors that we were kind of using in our previous DIY. So that's why I'm using this kind of blue color. And yeah, I might have to add some white in the next layer, which is totally fine. And I'm just kind of roughly getting around. You could be more exact with this. I'm going to trace them back out anyways. But this way I'm not wasting paint or having to cover them a billion times when I go in with my paint markers to do my letters. Not 
looking too bad, but yeah, I think I'm gonna add just the teeniest bit of white. So I'm gonna grab white and do my second coat. I'm using paints from Plaid. I'm a Plaid, uh, part of the Plaid Creative Community or Plaid Ambassador. So I'll have them linked down below. I will also have my Posca paint pens linked down below. If you don't know, I'm an affiliate with Amazon. So when you purchase from my links, it gives me a small commission at no cost to you. So I will leave those for you down below as well. Yeah, this is the color I'm going for here. So I'm gonna let this dry before I move on. So the blue is dry, I've decided to paint it with white and then do my paint marker on top. Uh, just because I think my paint, my white paint marker is running out. Okay, I just painted my second coat of white. I'm gonna make some incisions on the corners here to enter some jute cord to hang it. So I'm just poking a hole in here. It's gonna have to be big enough to fit it. Great option for the backside is to cover it in some craft paper and glue it on. Since I'm making this for myself, I don't really care that much, but if you're making this for someone else, I recommend gluing some brown craft paper to the back. that you want to cut it then you can if you do it too short then you're kind of stuck okay just tying a knot at the end here I don't know that do I want this not that one Now one option you have could be to leave the edges of these knots long and fray them out. I am making them short. In fact, I may have made this one too short. We'll find out in time. Yep, that's coming up. Okay. Alright, so we've got our little hanger going on here and once this paint is dry I'm gonna finish up that part I might burn these edges to clean them up a bit they're pretty frayed so let's let's maybe do that much cleaner. That way it's not full of a bunch of frayed edges. 
Um, once again, I'm going to wait for my white paint to dry and then we'll add some uh, spots to it. Okay, it's about dry. I've got my light pink Posca paint pen here and I'm actually going to add an extra layer of cuteness by making some cute little udders here on the end. have to add that part. I thought it would be cute. I added that. And now I'm going to add my spots and my outline. So let's see. Uh oh. Some of my white paint is running. Get out of here. I'm aware I don't have the same style as everyone else, but I think it's fun. And this one had a little white paint still on it. Oopsie daisy. Love these paint markers. If you guys have been watching my channel, I've been ha I bought my my honey bought them for me a while ago, and they are just amazing. Spring break here in New Mexico. So I'm on spring break for school, but so are the public schools. And I work at Girls Inc., which works with public schools. So I'm working full time this week to help them out with their spring break camp. That serves all these awesome girls. I'll have to go over those wet spots later, but I don't feel like it right now, and also they're not dry. These are just random, like, organic shapes. I don't think there's much of a right or wrong when you do cow print. taking the girls to the zoo tomorrow and I've never been to the zoo in Albuquerque so I'm also very excited about it and a lot of the girls are excited. It's also wacky hat day so I'm gonna wear my cheese head because I'm originally from Wisconsin. I'm not gonna wear it at the zoo but I'm gonna wear it in the van and when I get there so they can see it. Alright we're getting to the end here. Now that this is dry enough for me to outline. Alright 
guys. Other than these little fix up, and I'll fix them up before I take my final photos here. That's it for our cute little moose sign. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I think cow print and cow decor has so much potential. Like this might need a part two. Let me know if that would be of interest or not. And again, this is all for inspo. Like if you don't like the colors I used, you don't have to use them. You can totally make this your own. These are just things that I would put up in my space, which is why I made them in my style. But I think these are totally adaptable to whatever colors and designs and styles that you guys like. So that is it. We will show you some reveal photos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.